In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about rotational symmetry of a parallelogram, whether a parallelogram has a rotational symmetry or not. So this is our rhombus. This side and this side, this pair of sides is equal and parallel to each other and this pair of sides is equal and parallel to each other. Now, I'm going to draw a axis around these two opposite vertices and it is something like this and I'll take another axis join these passing from these two opposite vertices something like this. Now the point of intersection of these two axes is this one. Okay and this point let's say that this point is point O. Let's say this point is point O. Okay, this point O, this point O will be point of point of rotation, point of rotation. Around this, about this point, we will rotate this uh, parallelogram. Okay, so before rotating, I want to show one more thing, and that is here. I have highlighted this side of this parallelogram and this side of the parallelogram so that when it rotates, you can, you know, understand which side has moved to which place and so on and so forth. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rotate it by 180 degree around this point, okay, around this point. So if we rotate around this point by 180 degree, by 180 degree so what you will see is this can you see here this side that is highlighted with a blue color has come here this side has come here after the rotation of 180 degree now tell me are these two images exactly the same or not don't go on colors colors is only to you know help you understand the rotation. Are these two figures exactly the same? Yes, because when this side moves to this side, so nothing has changed actually, because both these two sides are equal to each other and parallel. And same thing is with this pair of opposite sides. So this pair is op op uh, parallel and equal, and this is also parallel and equal. Therefore, at the angle of rotation of 180 degree, angle of rotation of angle of rotation of 180 degree you get a rotational symmetry right so at this angle you have rotational symmetry now from this point we again we again rotate around uh, this point with 180 degree so if you rotate around this point again with 180 degree so initially it was 180 degree rotation now again you are rotating by 180 degree so what's the total rotation that you have that this parallelogram has rotated by 360 initially 180 now again 180 right so this time the angle of rotation is 360 degree 180 degree plus 180 degree. We take from the initial position. Now, when you do this, what happens? This happens. That is this point, that is, sorry, this side highlighted with the blue color will move here, and this side will move here. That is happening. So at the angle of rotation 360 degree, again you have a you have a rotational symmetry. Right, so this 360 degree is actually true for every figure. Like here, you can see that when you have moved by 360, rotated by 360 degree around this point of rotation, you are again getting the same. The figure that these two figures are exactly the same, and this 360 degree is true for every figure. It doesn't matter what kind of object you have. When you make a full, a complete rotation, so obviously that image or that object is going to you know at its initial position that is one complete rotation will 
make that object of figure to reach it at its initial positions. That is why we say that 360 degree is true for every image of figure. Now from here, we have rotational symmetry at 180 degree and at 360 degrees. Therefore, therefore, order of rotation, order of rotational symmetry, order of rotational symmetry will be 2, one for 180 degree and another one for 360 degree degrees. Now, what's the line of symmetry? We have already discussed the line of symmetries in our previous video tutorials. So what's the line of symmetry of a parallelogram? For parallelogram, we know that line of symmetry is zero. So the point is, you can see, even if your line, the any figures or any uh, quadrilateral's line of symmetry is actually zero, right? Or any geometrical shapes line of symmetry is zero, it can still have rotational symmetry, right? So for parallelogram, line of symmetry is zero and rotational symmetry is of order two.